Residents in the McCall area are used to airplanes in the smoky sky right now, so seeing a helicopter pulling conductor and fiber wasn't too out of the ordinary. One of the contractors working on the McCall transmission line recently stepped up progress with a helicopter to complete their portion of the project. Well, it, it's a lot more cost effective for the company to use a helicopter to string in the, all their pulling line and stuff rather than go to each pole with a crew, stop, go up, string it in, move to the next one. It just, even as expensive as helicopters are, it saves a lot of money because as you saw today, they can in, in four hours, they'll have all this in. And it would take a couple days for, for a couple crews to do the same amount of work. The helicopter first pulls the three phases through the dollies at a distance of about one mile. The fourth pass places the shield wire at the top of the structure. Shield wire is more of protection for the phases, uh, sort of more like a lightning rod kind of thing. Uh, it, it protects the phases from lightning strikes and those type of things. And uh, the, the fiber itself is used by us, is used for communication between, you know, system dispatch and substations and and anything else that we may need that for as operational communication for us. The shield wire is smaller in diameter than conductor. An aluminum casing wraps around a steel one. Inside this protective and conducive exterior are 24 strands of fiber optic cable. Those fibers are the path through which our electronic devices communicate to ultimately keep electricity flowing to customers. Using a helicopter to string wire also ensures that work is completed with minimum impact to natural resources. By stringing the conductor from the air, crews and heavy trucks aren't required to travel from pole to pole to do it manually. Wetlands along the river were relatively undisturbed during this stage of the construction project. In many areas, the line route through McCall was cited with consideration for aesthetics and future home development, while balancing that with the need to maintain reliable electric service. Larger wire and shorter spans across this river bottom will improve reliability, particularly in the winter when lines ice up and become heavier. Four sections of the new transmission line for the McCall area are under construction this summer. This phase of the multi-year, multi-million dollar project will be complete by early November. With Dave Bogey and McCall, I'm Lynette Berriachoa for E! News.